In this video we're going to look at rounding. Um, basically we're going to be rounding to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. We're going to be looking at rounding to a certain number of decimal places and significant figures in later videos. So we're just going to start off with making sure that we can round um, to some basic numbers first. So if I gave you a number, something like 18, and I said round that to the nearest 10, then the majority of you will probably be happy with the fact that, okay, that would be 20. The closest 10 is 20. Now, 18, if you draw a number line, and in a lot of cases we're going to be drawing a number line, what we're saying, rounding to the nearest 10, is breaking the number line up into 10s, and then identifying which, where 18 is on that number line, and then saying, well, which is it closest to? Is it closest to 10 or is it to 20? Okay, so 18 is closer to 20 to the nearest 10. Now, how do we identify that? Um, how are we going to identify that 18 is closer to 20 rather than 10? Well, it's all got to do with this number 8 here. When we're looking at the 10s and the closest 10, consider the tens unit, okay, well the ten place value, which is one in this case. Look one to the right, and if it is five or more, we round it up to the nearer ten, which is twenty. If it had been less than five, so if we looked at the number fourteen, then the number fourteen on our number line is approximately there. Okay, so just shy of 15. So actually this would be closer to 10 rather than 20. And it's the fact that we're still looking at the first number, okay, that tens column, but the one to the right is now less than 5. So we round down effectively to the nearer 10, which is just 10. Now, what happens when you get something like 15? Okay, so 15 on our number line is directly bang in the middle of 10 and 20. So, which is it closest to? Well, in this case, the actual physical number is exactly the same distance from 10 as it is from 20. Now, it is only convention that tells us that this rounds up. It is decided that 15 is the least number that I can round up to the nearest 10 and get 20. So, it is always looking at that tens column and then looking at the one to the right and saying, well, if it is 5 or more, we round it up. So that is the convention, okay? Five or more round up, less than five round down, okay? So 14 rounds down to 10, 18 would round up to 20. So that's to the nearest 10. Well, then again, it's not quite the nearest 10, because I still know examples where people get confused. If I was looking at the number 457, and I wanted to round that number to the nearest 10, you look at the tens column, as we did in the previous examples, and you're always looking at the number to the right. The number to the right of the tens column will identify whether you need to round up or round down. On our number line, we've split the number line up into tens again, and we've got 450 and 460, and 457 is about there. So we can see that it is closer to 460, and we'd round 457 up to 460, because 7 is 5 or more. Now, if you were going to round this to the nearest 100,
So the nearest hundred, we're now looking at the hundreds column. And you look one to the right. Okay, so it's exactly the same process, but the question is identifying which number we need to be looking at. We've now split up our number line into hundreds. So 400, 500. And 457 is very close to the middle. Now the 5, because it is 5 or more, tells us that we must round up. So to the nearest, to hun to the nearest 10, oh, sorry, to the nearest 100, I'm confusing myself here. The nearest 100, we are at 500. So make sure you're happy with the fact that 457 to the nearest 10 would be 460, but to the nearest 100, it would be 500. Okay? So the answer, answer changes depending on how accurate we are looking at these numbers. So if I then went to the nearest 1,000, okay, so if I had a number like uh, 5,000, 326, and I was asked to round that to the nearest thousand, on my number line I've now divided it up into thousands, and 5,326 is somewhere around there. So to the nearest thousand, I look at the thousands column, one to the right, it is less than five, so I round it down. Okay. So these are the methods of how you look at each number in turn and round as near as 10, 100 and 1000. In the next video I'm going to go through some examples of this just to make sure we are happy.